Turn with us to Mark 14 and I'm going to get through. Mark chapter 14. Oh, let you be turning. But I'm going to go ahead and start reading Mark 14. Verses 3, and being in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he said it me, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment, spike and art very precious, and she broke the box and poured it on his head. Now I got very precious. That means costly. It's been said that this was a whole year's worth of wages. It took her to purchase this perfume, and she breaks it over Jesus in a moment. Hello? And pours it on him. She's anointing the one who anoints. Wow. And listen, and there were some that had indignation within themselves and said, why was this waste of ointment made? In other words, they said, she's wasting it. For it might have been sold for more than 300 pence and have been given to the poor, and they murmured against her. They weren't worried about the poor. They were just greedy. And really, this was Judas that was going to betray Jesus, leading this statement that it was a waste. And Jesus said, let her alone. Why trouble ye her? She hath wrought a good work on me. Look at somebody beside you and say, the oil's never wasted. The oil he poured on you is never wasted. <laughs> What he told you to do and what he anointed you to do is never a waste. It may sometimes appear to be wasteful. It may seem like nothing's happening. Come on, you may not be feeling what you think you ought to be feeling from it by now. And surely not seeing from it what you think you ought to be seeing already by now. But somebody shout, it's never a waste. The enemy's the one that tells you it's a waste. It's a waste. Just quit. Just give up. There's no use. Just let go. Somebody shout, but don't listen to the devil. Call anybody here, the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout with me. The all is not waste. My worship, when I pour it on him, is never a wasted moment. When I pray and call, when I call on the name of Jesus, it's never a wasted time. Every time I open this Bible and grab a microphone and say, Thus saith the Lord, it's never wasted. Why? Because so shall my word be that God out from my mouth. It'll not return unto me void or empty. Oh, but it'll prosper into the place where till I send it, Isaiah 55, verse 11. Somebody shout, it's never a waste. When I put money in that offering plate, when I bring my tithes into the storehouse, kneel down and pray it's not a waste when I lift my hands up and say thank you Jesus it's not a waste when I push a plate back and I fast it's not wasted call somebody every time I come into his house it's not a wasted effort come on anybody here Holy Ghost mm. them old religious spirits said she's wasted Jesus came to her defense and said, let her alone. You know what she's doing? This is an act of worship. She ain't giving Jesus a little tip. She's giving him her best. Some people think they've done something because they came to church. Clap their hand one time, throw George Washington in the plate. Never against George Washington, but he goes to the plate more than anybody else does. Thank God George Washington. Amen. I'm not saying anything against George. Amen. But a lot of people, come on somebody, tip their waitress or the waiter where they went to the restaurant better than they do God when they come to his house. Amen. Anybody breathe. 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 Hallelujah. Don't die on that. Praise God. But, but it, it, it's amazing. Jesus comes to her defense because she is giving him her best. She's taking something of worth to her. It took her a whole year to save her money to buy this perfume. You know? Now ladies, I don't know what some of you squirt on. My wife's got some particular ones she likes. And come on, we have to get them when they're on sale. Or I tell her sometimes let's go in to where the tester bottles are and just load up. I just go a little early where you go and stop in and... 
until we get the money raised to get, you know, I mean, you know, I just, I just bought some the other day, and this is unusual for me to do, but I bought some a few weeks ago that cost about $65, and it weren't very big, but when you sprayed it on, it stayed with you for days. I mean, it seemed hard to wash off. I mean, I thought, well, that'd be more economically friendly. Come on, somebody, say, well, that long one, you spray something on, you ain't got to buy something in a can for $3. Come on, somebody, you got to spray on there a few minutes. Sweat it off. Amen. So I thought I was doing something. I got me a few squirts of enjoyment out of it. Uh -oh. I went to one church and, and left it in my in my garment bag. And when I look at neighbor said they go to church too. If you robbing God in the tithe and offering, you're a thief too. Come on, somebody seen worse than somebody else's cologne. Hey man, they took my cologne out of my bag. I said, Lord Jesus. I said, well, Lord, it went missing in your house. I'll just dedicate that to you, Lord. <laughs> Praise God. I ain't lost no sleep over it. Come on, somebody. Right. Hey, Amen. I'll take a bath every night and I wear deodorant. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hey, Amen. But I'm sure like the smell of that stuff. Hey, Amen. She, it took her a whole year to save up. So this must have been some nice smell of stuff. Right. Alabaster woman. You ever smell all the ingredients? Praise God, the mirth, the frankincense is what they use to make the anointing oil, anointing oil right, with. Right. Some that's really made after the apocryphy, after this art. Hallelujah. I mean, it's got a great aroma. Song of Solomon 1 and 12 says, I, he, I sit at his feet at, at, while he's at the table and my spikenard, it's called spikenard, fills the room. I mean, it had such a strong aroma. Praise God. It's what they wrapped a lot of times the dead in to keep their bodies from, as it decayed, from smelling because it was so strong. The smell of that real anointing oil. In other words, she's taking anointing oil. A perfume. Even Ecclesiastes 10 talks about the apocryphy. Amen. That the anointing oil is, is a perfume. She's pouring it all over Jesus. She breaks it. It's in a box. you got to break the box to get it to come. And it's just all just running, just oozing. All through his hair, through his beard, down his face, all over his garments, all the way down his body, onto his feet. She's wiping his hair, or his feet with the hairs of her head as she's weeping and worshiping him. It's running all in the floor. And all these religious spirits can say is she's wasting that. That's so expensive perfume we could have sold and gave it to the poor. They weren't worried about the poor. They were holding the money bag and taking a little bit for themselves. Call somebody. On the side. Yeah. Jesus said, Let her alone. She does a good work on me. Somebody shout anytime you kneel down and lift him up. Anytime you stand up and lift him up. Anytime you sit behind your instrument and lift him up. Anytime you minister to him and worship and you give your time and your offering. Come on and you lift him up. Anytime you obey his voice and do what he says and lift him up. Somebody shout, that's not wasted all. And when you do, God will come to your defense. He'll tell it. Saying every demon and the sister saying vapor and brother bucket mouth too. Let them alone. Glory, glory, glory. They do a good work on me. Amen. Somebody say a good work. Amen. Somebody shout anything I do toward him is a good work. Amen. It's not a wasted work. It's Amen. a good work. <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen. He said, You got poor with you always. Whensoever ye will, you may do good in them, but me have not always. He was preaching about his death on the cross. She hath done what she could. That's all God expects of you. She has come beforehand to anoint my body to the burial. Friend, if you'll learn to anoint him, you'll have no problem being anointed by him. Amen. To anoint him is to give him your best. How much does God want from me? Somebody shout my best. 
What's my best? My everything. Amen. My all. He wants all my heart. He wants all my life. Then to let him have all is to let him have it first. Amen. Somebody shout, that's how you anoint him. If you anoint him that way, he'll anoint you his way. I'm telling you. Listen, verse 9. Amazing scripture. Verily, this means truly I say unto you, whithersoever this gospel shall be preached throughout the whole world, this also that she hath done shall be spoken of for a memorial of her. Not just a memorial of me, of her. Look at your neighbor and say, it's coming to pass right now because that preacher's preaching about it. Amen. Everywhere this gospel's preached, Jesus said, She's going to be remembered for this. This is going to be her memorial. What it is? What's her memorial? She gave her best. She gave her all to him. She gave her very best, her all to me. What you going to be remembered for? That you gripped God? That you never said, get a grip. Get a grip. Or that you let go of God? You're going to be remembered for one or the other. You either believed him or you didn't. Amen. You either walked with him or you walked away from him. You either held on to him or you let him go. Think about it. You're going to be remembered like her for giving God your best. Not your second best. Your best is your first. When you put him first, you're saying to him, you're everything to me. That's your best. If you're not putting him first, you're not giving him your best. Amen. And friend, when you put him first, you give him your best, which is all you can do. Not some of what you can do. She done all she could. She didn't do some of what she could. She did all. Amen. She could. Come on, somebody. That means she gave her everything. Literally, she did. But it's a sign that she was saying, God, you mean more to me than this. You mean more to me than anything or anyone in this life. I give you everything. I give you my all. Jesus said, this is a good work. She does only let her alone. And wherever my gospel's preached in all of this world, this will be a memorial unto her when she did. Wow. Amen. Lord, that when my name gets brought up, the gospel of Christ is promoted. Amen. The memory of the just is blessed. Come on, somebody. Proverbs 10, verse 7. Man, that's fulfilled right there. You can't mention her without mentioning the gospel of Jesus. Wow. You know Joshua's name in Scripture? In Joshua 3, it talks about Joshua. Joshua's name in Hebrew is Yeshua. It's the same as Jesus. Wow. When you say His name, it's a reflection of Jesus. All through Scripture, come on somebody, when Joshua's mentioned, you can go through the gospel, amen, and it'll reveal the gospel in the Old Covenant. All the acts and things that God did through Joshua. His name. Lord, I want to live that close to you. I want to live that dedicated to you. I want to have such a hold on you to that state that when my life is over and gone and people gather around my memorial, they can't think long about me without thinking about you. Walk so close to God that when people bring your name up 25 and 30 years after you've been in heaven, they get under conviction just talking about the way you live. People get saved just talking about your faith in your God. Amen. That's a memorial. I want, I want the Lord to be my memorial. Hosea 12 and 5. Preacher, you act like you about to leave here. Come on, somebody. Don't boast yourself in tomorrow. You don't know what the day's going to bring. Right. Proverbs 27, verse 1. I don't want to be remembered for backslap. Mm -hmm. 
So if you're watching, you backslid, or if you're in here and you backslid, you better slide back. Amen. You better get back. Yeah. Come on, somebody. You better get back. Hallelujah. Glory to God, because he'll take you back. Yeah. Hallelujah, because he ain't went nowhere. Hallelujah. He said, retire unto me, you backslidden heart. Now I'll heal your backslidings. Jeremiah 3, 22. Heal means I'll quit that quitting in you. I'll stop that stopping in you. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, people are leaving this earth even while I preach. God, I can think about people right now that I've preached at funerals at over 25 years. And different ones, God, that's left this earth. God, you know how it's been on my heart the last few days. No, God, not only about those that's already gone, but God, those who started out some 20 plus years ago. And God, to look at their life right now, you'd have never known they served you. Some I can think of, God, you'd never known they preached. They have drifted so far from you. God, they won't be remembered for serving you if today was their last day on this earth. All they'll be remembered for was backsliding and quitting and letting go of you and not giving you their best. Lord, our faith will outlive us. Faith of the saint lives on after they're gone. God, how bold will our faith live when our life's over? What memorial will we leave? Lord, we want to leave this. We want to leave belief. <laughs> want to leave something that causes unbelievers to believe. For God, you said in 1 Samuel 16 and 13 that you anointed David from that day forward. You anointed him to go forward. From that day, you poured your oil on him forever. Lord, what anointings do we forfeit when we decide not to continue and not to go forward? God, you said in Psalms 37, in verses 8, that there was a generation that were stubborn and rebellious, whose hearts were not aright, who were not steadfast with God. You said in your word in Psalm 78 and 9 that they were the children of Ephraim, being armed and carrying bows, but they turned back in the day of trouble. God, they were armed and dangerous, but didn't know who they were, and they turned back when the enemy came against them. God, you said in your word in Psalm 78, verse 37, that God, their heart was not right, and neither were they steadfast in your covenant. They would not continue. They would start, but not continue. You declared in your word in Acts 14 and 22, confirming the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith, for we through much tribulation shall enter into the kingdom of God. God, you said to go and strengthen the souls, the minds of the saints, the disciples, exhorting them, God, strengthening them, hallelujah, encouraging them to do what? To continue in the faith. Because we, all of us, through much tribulation, through many trials and troubles and attacks and fights, when we enter into the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God is not the kingdom of heaven. That don't mean in heaven. That means in the earth right here. To see your kingdom, to step into your kingdom and to exhibit your power in this earth, uh, delivering those that are bound with Satan, the Holy Ghost. God, we enter into that kingdom. We enter into that place of authority and power through much tribulation. And God, it's between the tribulation and the kingdom where we got to continue. God, through the trial, we must continue in our faith if we're going to step into the kingdom of God where God all, so to speak, the limits are taken off uh, in the large place uh, is trusted to us. Uh, Holy Ghost, I pray that the saints of the living God, uh, God, those that hear what the Spirit is saying to the church tonight, uh, would continue the God, then lay aside every fault of stopping. Lay aside every uh, God fault. Uh, Lord God, where they've contemplated quitting. Uh, and Lord, what, saying, what's the use? Uh, those that have felt like it's been a waste. Uh, God, I pray that their spirit would get up again. Uh, Holy Spirit, I charge them uh, by the Spirit of God in me tonight. Uh, and God, I call them to go forward. Because you will not do them to do such. You didn't anoint us to stop. You didn't anoint us to quit. You didn't anoint us to run. You anointed us to face enemies. You anointed us to face storms. You anointed us to face mountains. 
mountains. You anointed us to walk over enemies. You anointed us to tread down mountains. You anointed us, Holy Ghost, uh, to speak to stuff and it change. Uh, you've anointed us to go forward, 1 Samuel 16 and 13. Uh, somebody shout, I was anointed for this attack. Uh, I was anointed for this mountain. Uh, I was anointed for this devil. Uh, I was anointed for this situation. Uh, I was anointed for this sickness. Uh, I was anointed for whatever it is the devil's throwing at me and mine. Uh, somebody shout, I was anointed for it. Uh, before it ever came, I was anointed uh, to go through it. Uh, somebody shout, he's already anointed me. Uh, praise God. Uh, hallelujah. You may not be feeling nothing. Uh, you may not be seeing nothing. Uh, but God said, I've anointed you. Uh, hallelujah to walk through it. Uh, I've anointed you to successfully overcome it. Uh, somebody shout, there's your direction from the Lord. Forward. That's what he's anointed you to do. That's the only direction God wants you for. Ahead, 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 ahead. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. What will you be remembered for tonight? Hallelujah. Brianna, if you'll go back over to my phone, baby, and uh, don't put the third song on because I don't have the lyrics to it. I believe it'll be the fourth song. You can just let it play and go back to the camera. Track four. Like Jacob, you feel along. <laughs> darkness and can't get out. You're in that place of pain. Seems like you can't overcome it. And all the while, you're needing a breakthrough and all you hear is let go. If you're here and give up, somebody shout, that means get up. Don't, don't you give up. You get up. Come on, somebody. If you're here and let go and quit, don't you let go. Hold on. Take hold. Come on, somebody. Because the Bible said in Hebrews chapter 3, in verses 14, we are partakers of Christ. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end. Somebody say steadfast. Psalms 51 and 10, David said, Create within me a clean heart of God. Renew a right spirit within me. That word right means a steadfast spirit. A spirit that don't quit. A spirit that says, God, I will hold on to you. That's what I'll be remembered for. I may not see everything I believe to see, but my God, my belief will be seen. I may not see everything I had faith to believe I was going to see, but my faith will be seen. Come on, somebody. That I, I, that I did not believe it, that I stayed in faith. I continue in the faith. Holy Ghost. 